So a lot of people are asking uh, about the STX feature. Don't really know what the engineering is and the technology and the architecture, but if you look at some watch some of my videos, there's there's a commenter there that actually lays it out pretty uh, pretty well. But I'm just going to engage it here. Definitely, um, there's a lot of quality loss, you know, but um, it would appear, I don't know that it's stronger, it just cleans it up, but you lose, you lose fidelity, no question. This this repeater is located in Clewiston, Clewiston, Florida, so a little bit over 140 miles away, very good repeater. It's a third, it's a third um, radio operator there. Different voices. And that's the SDX feature when it's enabled. Uh, the ASP will appear on the screen. This is W4KWS, Key West, Florida. Operator, whiskey, bravo, four, tango, whiskey. Second speaker is up here, right below here. I have a three did it three three D printed mount here. Um, that's pretty good, I mean, I have an FTM 100 sitting here to the side, and uh, let's see, one second, let's see how that's coming into the, no SDX here, but I definitely can hear more of the, uh, all the frequencies of the voice and the highs and the lows and the mids here. This is an FTM 100, same thing, you know, little remote head, so I can get a GPS signal closer to the window. Uh, but, uh, this is a third user here, different voice. So we're gonna we're gonna leave the ASP enabled and switch over to this next radio. Definitely, the speakers in the uh, FTM 150 sound. I like I like the audio. It's a two speaker system too, so. I still haven't explored how that's split up, if it's in relation to one side or the other, but uh, a Sarasota repeater coming in there. Anyway, thought I would share this without...
porque él estaba hablando, güey, que no hay ningún tipo de problema. Pero yo aquí, tal vez si me parece, si no, tú me has ahí, vamos a ver, porque alguien está escuchando. Me parece que ya estoy aquí. Pues, okay. Signals fading. Bueno. Which is perfect to see what this does here with the, with the fading signal. We'll wait for the next operator. See, this is one of the things that don't work. With a really weak signal, the signal came back. But with a really weak signal, uh, when the ASP is uh, when the ASP is enabled or the SDX, whichever, uh, you enable this button here. Sounds underwater. I don't think it's all there yet. I think it's uh, any further development. I don't know what's going on in there. But if you look at my, uh, if you look at some of my videos for the FTM 150, there, uh, I forget the name of the gentleman, but it uh, he goes by the name DJ something uh, in there, and uh, he gives a really good explanation of what actually is going on in here. I mean, I, I, I like the feature. It cleans up the audio a little bit, you know, but I'm also used to uh, DMR. Um, I'm used to C4FM, so I'm very used to the, the, the digitized uh, audio, and it borderlines uh, digitized, you know, audio as far as the audio is concerned, not that it's turning into digital, to be clear. It, it, really, it really gets close. It's, it's not as bad, though. Even though the meter goes up on the signal string, the legibility, I mean, I don't know how they're measuring that, but it seems like it's a, it's a, it's a mix of a preamp and, and some other circuitry and some, some trickery, some dirty tricks in there. But uh, let's see if he comes back here on a low signal. Signals faded out, which is perfect for this video. So we're going to see the signal. That's a perfect example of ASP enabled on a really low signal, and there's no, there's nothing there. Even though the meter is showing a stronger signal coming in, it, it, there's, you can't hear anything. Well, there's nothing there now, but uh, turn over here. Yeah, there's nothing there. Signal's gone. Anyways, just sharing a little, um, maybe a little video here for the FTM 150 and, uh, and two meters and showcasing a little of the SDX um, feature with low low signals, high signals, and different operators' voice. Um, I mean, <coughs> it's a feature. It works. What it's doing exactly, who knows? Um, Maybe it can improve uh, via firmware update. Maybe. I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm a fan of the ASU. Um, the goal is to get the 9700. Get serious about 2 meter in UHF. Right now, my single sideband uh, rig is the ICOM uh, 271 with a little help if needed. But very rarely I'm using the amplifier these days. 25 watts. Uh, I'm focusing more on my antenna and reducing losses than anything else at this point. Um, especially on UHF uh, for some DX UHF. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just focused on uh, on just uh, re a reduction of loss. We have the uh, Diamond X510 uh, N model at, at 35 feet at the uh, feed point of the antenna. Obviously, the antenna is about almost 17 feet tall. We have Andrews Heliax, a 60 foot run coming down. Uh, straight into a uh, a jumper cable um, uh, LMR 600 that comes in the house to an Alpha Delta N switch uh, and then from the switch it's N terminated uh, PL259 into the radio no adapters right um, we're focused more on 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 loss uh, loss prevention <laughs> uh, so we've eliminated a lot of the losses we had before in the previous setup you know running inadequate uh, coax was a big deal so we got a bump from that we got rid of all the adapters uh, we try not to turn we try not to use uh, 45 adapters things like that um, the biggest thing for me here is location. Uh, so I get into these SAR repeaters. I've, I think I've been into 10 different SAR repeaters now. I have a log going here, and the, the SAR guys do a great job, and they're very friendly when they hear me on there. So uh, 
a big shout out to the SAR network, uh, the SAR repeater uh, network here in the, in Florida. Um, plays a mission critical role during disasters or emergencies that may 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 come. And trust me, it's Florida. We're going to have emergencies. So anyway, 7-3, everyone. Hope you enjoy the video. All my videos are unscripted. I pretty much just grab my phone with one hand, operate with the other, and try to provide as much information as I can. Uh, comment below, please. Subscribe. And uh, I'm open to ideas on what, what would you like to see next. Uh, thinking about, uh, it's a little ridiculous. I'm thinking about getting rid of the SO239 uh, connector in these radios and going in. I don't know. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's more of a, uh, you know, from what I understand, it's not worth doing it. Uh, but, uh, just to keep everything, uh, perfect. Uh, anyway, seven, three from Key West. This is W four K W S operator named Tony and, uh, link, uh, subscribe to my channel. If you like the content and, uh, comment below seven, three.